Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1. Thanks a ton for tuning in today. We appreciate that. We'll be back with you tomorrow at 3 o'clock for a Friday edition. Woo-hoo! Our friend Amy Drew Thompson will drop by for Primetime Kitchen, Embers Only, turning you on to another great cigar from our buddies over at Corona, who helped us out quite a bit with our basket, man. We had a bunch of cool stuff from Corona in our basket for the uh, for the silent auction coming up August 27th at the Poker Tournament. Absolutely. I'm going right. to take that basket home and feminine it up. Yeah. Some crinkle paper. Put some femme on it, girl. Some cellophane, you know, wrapping paper with a big bow. Oh, yeah. You get big bucks raising money for the mustard seed of Central Florida. It all happens at our po- annual poker tournament. If you want information on how you can join us, go to realradio.fm slash poker. Our basket's going to have a ton of value. Yeah. Uh, I will tell you straight up, just what we have in it right now is probably in the $400 range. Uh, I think the golf game with you and Ross is probably going to be the but, biggest draw, and then you guys are going to have to bring that bottle of whiskey and those cigars to have those on the golf course. Hey, so, you know, I, somebody brought something up earlier, and, the, and, and this is a good point, all yes, right? Yes. Well, this is a very good point. All right, so there, there's a possibility. No. Stop, stop no. now. Stop. What's he saying, Dev? There's a possibility that whoever wants to bid on this might not play golf. All right, they and they want to bid on it, and that's a big part of the package. But if they don't want to play golf, we need to come up with a uh, with an alternative to playing golf with myself and Ross for maybe you and Jack to do something. I mean, it shouldn't be always just us playing golf. Sure, it should. I mean, what would it be? I mean, somebody suggested a bike ride with uh, with you and Jack. <laughs> What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with yeah. that. Yeah, no. Sure. Nothing wrong with that at all. No. Seminole County Trail, get up there and just kind of ride. What's wrong with that? You can ride a bicycle, yeah. can't you? I can ride a bike. Okay. I don't have one. You used to, about, can I tell you, you used to ride bikes like, didn't you used to like ride I bike was, bikes? Like, I was like gonna, a cyclist. Like a cyclist. Yeah, I was, yeah, yeah see, exactly. She, and then knows. I moved to Florida. Oh. <laughs> and then I tried riding on the roads around here and it was like, yeah, no. We can go make miniatures at Deb House. Yeah. You know what some listeners in your home? Ooh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> no, yeah, you don't want them there. You could do it in like a wreck. Yeah, you could meet them at like Panera. Yeah, or something. yeah just right now, have our uh, many of our listeners. Hey, what's wrong with me? Right, exactly. <laughs> hey, no, I'm done with sports in this show. Pickleball and fishnets. You got it. You're All good. Right. We're you got done. It. So we'll play pickleball and fishnets. <laughs> <laughs> Deb and I. Oh, we got no chance. Deb. We got no chance, Ross. We could put a dead possum in there with that pickleball and fishnets thing, and we win the bid. Do I have to shave my legs for yeah, fishnets? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It'll wanna... look more. It'll look better yeah, no, if no, I do. No. Yeah. No, I want the hair sticking out. You want out the of hair them. sticking oh, yeah. out? Are yeah, you? Sure. Do you have hairy legs? Yeah, yeah. hairy enough. Yeah. Where do they poke through fishnets? Yeah. <laughs> I got this red shirt on, and my uh, gray chest hair pokes with the red shirt. Sometimes it's unsightly. That's when we put you in a polyester shirt that buttons down to your belly button, and put a gold chain and all that fur. Oh mm-hmm. uh, yeah. This oh, already feels like a don't like, say, wow. Don't say oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. Maybe oh, we make it where oh, Deb, yeah. Deb and uh, oh, Jack yeah. can and we can rent them another cart and they can just kind of ride along with us while we play and give commentary. I like that. Idea. I like that idea. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll work that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because mm, here's the thing. Yeah. We, we know a golf. We know a couple courses that you know listen to the program and and, and know us and stuff and are very cool. And if we set a time up, we could have we could have that mm-hmm. where you guys would follow behind us in a golf cart. And um and offer uh and offer some uh commentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or some. That'd be great. That'd be great. We'll do it about what? Or maybe just have lunch beforehand with everybody or something. I don't know. Yeah, we'll make it lunch. nice. Like whoever bids on this basket is gonna a lot of they're gonna get a lot of cool yeah, they're stuff. They're getting enough value with what's already in there. There's no need to overload yeah. it. Uh, yeah, let's see, let's see how much there. they spend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Let's let's get <laughs> our <laughs> biggest bang for this basket buck and I'll then be, we'll go somewhere else. I will tell you that actually is a very <laughs> good point. So with that said, when you go to silent auctions uh, if you don't know, what happens is they have a sheet of paper, they have the item, a description of the item, and then they have a sheet of paper, and usually there's a beginning bid, and then you basically just kind of write down how much more you want to bid on it. That what should the beginning bid for our basket be? Fifty. No, you no, no. Are, you are more than that. Just uh, you are definitely the Hufflepuff. Then the cigars <laughs> and the and the the whiskey alone. Yeah, the whiskey alone isn't that over a hundred? I was I was interrupted. I was about to say fifty thousand. Okay. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Well, I'm telling you, the cigars and the whiskey alone probably about three hundred and fifty bucks, three hundred fifty to four hundred dollars, because it's two full boxes of cigars, uh, Corona special cigars, Maduro and uh, and the um, and the natural wrapper. Probably two hundred, two fifty starting. Day. I would two fifty yeah. was the number I thought it should start at. And I just thought of an event for uh, for Jack and I. It will be massage and mimosa. Oh, that's nice. Dig I like it. that. Right? Where, where do it. I show up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, you get to massage, Dad. How about this? I'll bid on it. 
<laughs> and Jack and his fishnets. <laughs> but yeah, but you have to massage Jack. <laughs> <laughs> One so, hand on each. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Split the difference, baby. <laughs> Someone just texted us at 77031. Deb can just stomp on your junk and call you names <laughs> instead of going to play golf. Oh, my God. Truckers are turning around. <laughs> Where do I sign up? I want to get them stomped good. <laughs> you, you know what I did I today? like that sometimes. You shut them in the old toilet seat. <laughs> that, that just reminded me. I played that golf this happen. morning. Yeah. I sat on myself. On your... Yeah. That really? does not happen. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. It does. Yeah, it does. How the hell? No, there's happen. a name for that. It's called the panini. When you... <laughs> when Is that you, for real? Yeah. <laughs> I've I've... Sir, now wait a that, minute. Are I you mean, guys just because you know I'm gullible? No, look, this look, look, I'm telling you. I, I, for, one, for one thing, it definitely happens. There is no, yeah, 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 yeah. there is no that doesn't happen. But I've never heard it called a panini. Now, <laughs> I have heard of the flying squirrel. Yeah, but that's when you're bat winging. That's when you're bat winging. When you're right. when, when you're, you're sweaty. When you're when you're free balling and you're stuck to each leg. Right. Oh God, that happens. Well, so, Does it really happen that you sit on them? My Listen, question. How yes. do you sit on them though? God, Deborah. It, is just, it like a is it like a hobby horse? Well, yeah. When they, they, you know, when it's warm out, and if you're wearing loose jeans, they gotta get down there. And when you sit down, weird one will get pinched. So what happened to me is that I kind of like you know how you when you sit down, right? I I kind of like had a. Right? right, I, I kind of like, like pelvic you thrusted four words and then sat down. So when I did that, I think you it, swung them I in the swung back. them oh. on the front and then I sat on them. How much does that hurt? Does that oh, hurt like getting kicked? It's terrible. But my question is for oh, man, this is gonna. What I just I'm I didn't I'm know that that happened. Getting kicked, getting kicked there, or getting well, yeah. I took a line drive there once. I've and heard that that was, will make you throw up. Yeah, yeah it will. The pain is so bad yeah. it will drop you to oh, your knees yeah, and you'll make puke. you puke on spot. And I you don't a, you don't even throw up food. You just throw up black oil. Yeah, it's, it's bad. It's, it's so bad. <laughs> God, it's awful. A priest walks out, starts doing an exorcism. <laughs> we lost him. So sorry. And, and then he starts speaking Latin. And it's like delayed. It's like when you eat a hot pepper, you're like, oh, that's not so bad. And then after that, uh, your eyes are burning. Uh, after that, you get kicked or get hit or something. I got, oh, man. I did a skateboard trick one time. And when I came down, my foot that was on the back of the skateboard was on, but yeah. my front foot wasn't. So the board slapped up as mm. if you're just hitting the back of it to pop it up and pinched mine against my leg. But my qu- and, and, and and I I stopped for a second. My buddy saw it happen. He goes, "Are you okay?" And I went, "I'm." And then threw up. Oh, my question is: I haven't done that in a very long time. Hit yourself or no? no. Sit on them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sit on myself. It's been a long time. And then it made me think: it was like, why of all times did that happen? And then I thought, I'm getting older. <gasps> yeah, they're falling. They're falling. They fall a little bit. Shut up. Yeah, they do. So well, it's I mean, got like a- anything. It sags. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. it's, it's skin. Yeah. I mean, gravity does its thing. Yep, yeah, it does. So, like, it's got to happen mm-hmm. more often. It does magically leave the other thing along, though. Yeah. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> but it's got to happen, you know, at a higher rate the older you get, right? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, man. I don't know how to tell this. Um, I can't tell that. <laughs> well, wait. What do you mean it leaves the other thing? But off? you gotta try. What is that? What do you mean? <clears throat> you're a Slytherin. No, when it, when that, <laughs> speaking like, of Slytherin, when your is sagging, like it right. starts to only one part of that makes that move. The other part does not lengthen. Let's say. Oh, it doesn't, oh, it's not, it, it, it doesn't work it, the it, same it, it, way. It does not extend in that nature. How is that fair? It's not. That's it's not fair. That's not cool. And the dog. other thing too, and, and you can ask <laughs> even Jack will come in on this because Jack hates it when we talk about stuff like this. Mm-hmm. But he, but <laughs> when when this you're... is biology, Jack, it I'm biology. learning something that I've never. I, I always thought you guys. Are, I I'm think glad. you guys are still jerking Jack, with. You're Jack. just easy. No no, Jack. no, 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 no. You can't no. use that terminology yeah. in this topic. Yeah, you can. Listen, stop. <laughs> no, I won't. But I think you're because you know no, I'm we're gullible. Not. We're not. No, no, I'm telling you right now. I would gladly tell you that we're sucking you in, but that didn't happen. Easy with that. When you, if your jeans get wet. Right. Like if you have wet jeans, um, what will happen sometimes is when you go to sit down, because your jeans are wet, your skin is wet, it'll actually torque, it'll twist, and it'll get caught like you're- In the fabric? It'll get caught in there and twist it up pretty good. It's no fun there either. Had no idea. Yeah, there's a thing called torsion. Have you heard of that? I, I mean, I've, I've I've heard of that in terms of dog stomachs, yeah, but no, no, I no. didn't know that that could happen to men. There's a thing called testicle torsion that happens to men, and they actually internally, 
wrap up like a uh, like if you like if uh, like an out of sh- like an out of control parachute, and they wrap up in that pain is supposed to be oh. as delicious as it gets for a male. We actually have an expert on the topic, and they're on line one. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, Xander, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Hi, I just wanted to say my dad will win the poker tournament because he went for poker for Las Vegas. Is this the and same? Is this? Well, hold on for a second. Slow, slow down, kid. This is the same one. Okay, chill out. <laughs> chill out for a second. How old are you again? How old are you? I'm gonna win it on my beat you in golf. It, it doesn't shock me you can't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> But how old are you? It's a simple question, kid. I am nine. You're nine years old, That's right? Very good. You are. Your sure game is better than your is it really? little tiny. Uh, oh my god! Brain. Listen to me. <laughs> you and your father are brain dead donkeys. You know that, right? Your dad I, is a brain I, dead. Tell your dad I he's a brain dead donkey. Actually, what? You don't play golf. You're what? a loser. What? Oh. You roll the ball what? with your little hands. What? With my little hands? <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> How? Of all the How things, does he know you? Of all the things to call my hands little, I will, I will treat you like my nine-year-old. Your, fa- your father needs to hold on, hold on. You, your fa- your father needs to beat you more. I think they just called you little bitch hands. You didn't call me bitch hands. A nine-year-old said that to me. No, no, no. No, there's no way. I don't curse at nine-year-olds. I'm gonna play with you and Ross in golf. No, you're not. Is your dad gonna win the bid? Is your dad gonna win the bid? What's he going to trade some yeah, oxy for it? He went to Las Vegas and won. Oh, your dad didn't go to Vegas. Your dad went to Los Alamos. That's different. It's New Mexico. They do nothing there. I did tell you that. He did go to Las Vegas. He did not. Your dad's lying. What do you go out there to cheat on your mom? And he won some money. He, he won, won some money? a lot of money. Did he spend it on a hooker? Yeah. I no. feel okay about my curse word now. I feel <laughs> way Jeez. okay. He on a Lamborghini. Uh, you're the greatest, buddy. What's your name, by the way? Xander. With an F. You sound like a Xander. <laughs> what was the mm, good sa- job, Xander? You sound like a Xander. <laughs> Xander, how long? You sound like a jabroni, you loser. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, game on. Xander, how long do you think you're going to remain a boy? <laughs> I'm going to remain a boy forever. And you're going to be a little tiny loser with a tiny little miniature hand. Oh, oh, you got it again. oh now they're you miniature, found, Jimmy. Found, <laughs> found the hot spot. All right, Xander, thanks, buddy. Tell your daddy's a loser. All right? <laughs> hey, by the way, did you know something? I, actually, when you called last time I looked your dad up, did you get, do you know you're adopted? Oh. I was not adopted, you little crazy miniature brain man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so back to testicle torsion. <laughs> I think we just witnessed it auditorily. <laughs> if that is even a word. That guy's Holy well, cow. By the way, he's welcome to call anytime. <laughs> and, and, and we need to, honestly, we need to hook up with his old man and play. I, yeah, I, would, yeah. I, I would love to play with him. Maybe he can play. I'd do that in a second. Are you kidding? <laughs> the kid's got game like that? Are you kidding? <laughs> That's great. Yeah, Xander, you're a monster, buddy. You can call anytime you want. That, I usually never let a kid on the air, but that guy's got game. His dad's probably laughing his ass off. <laughs> Has to. Yeah, yeah. Never went to Vegas, though. I know it. <laughs> How would you know with your miniature yeah. hands, you crazy brain man? <laughs> you jabroni. <laughs> jabroni. 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 What is this kid That's doing? Just so watching good. 90s wrestling? <laughs> what, what is this dad showing him? He's like giving me the rocks lines. I love it. <laughs> yeah. By the way, you guys see the, there's a little bit of wrestling news out there before we get out of here for the segment. Right, so Vince uh, McMahon has stepped completely down. Yeah. And the guy who was Triple H, that yeah. guy who did the character role, well, he is married to... Uh, Vince McMahon's daughter Stephanie, who was you know a big part of the company and stuff. I yeah, mean, she's co CEO. Exactly, co CEO. Um, and it looks like you know this guy Triple H has come out and made a big statement that uh, the WWE is about to change, like they're taking the thing in a new direction. They're getting away from the showmanship of it, and they're actually getting back to the like the wrestling, the technical wrestling aspect of it. So I wonder how people who've been watching. You know that that promotion for a long time, and seeing the the lights and the circum, you know, the pomp and circumstance of a big wrestling show, and then turn it back into something you'd see at Eddie Graham Sports Center, where the, <laughs> where, <laughs> right, where the where the floors are dirt, <laughs> right? right? Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see that uh, without Vince. You hear, you guys hear how much money he paid out? Twelve? No, more? Yeah, they found more. Like 40, Nin- 
$19.6 million yeah. in unsubstantiated pay, uh, payments uh, throughout the years. So Vince, yep. paid off, Vince paid off a lot of people. Wow. Yeah. Uh, thank God he wasn't married. 407-916-1041. Uh, <laughs> Load them up for last call. We'll do that next.